I want to begin by thanking the jurors in this case for their service. They have sat through months of grueling and oftentimes heart-wrenching testimony and evidence. They have been incredibly attentive and they are to be commended for their commitment to their service. I also want to thank the many victims, survivors, and witnesses who testified in this case, as well as those who came every day to support them in court. Truly, the victims and the survivors are the voices of Boston Strong and the living proof that there was much love in this city on the afternoon of April 13, two years ago. Today, the jury has spoken, and Joe Harsanayev will pay with his life for his crimes. Make no mistake, the defendant claimed to be acting on behalf of all Muslims. This was not a religious crime, and it certainly does not reflect true Muslim beliefs. It was a political crime designed to intimidate and to coerce the United States. Although the defense claimed that the defendant was himself intimidated and coerced by an older brother, the evidence did not bear that out. The defendant was an adult who came to believe in an ideology of hate, and he expressed those beliefs by killing, maiming, and mutilating innocent Americans on Patriot's Day.